Exactly a limb. Whatever. How did we get ourselves into this? It seems like just a few minutes ago we were babysitting for Auntie Scraps. It was just a few minutes ago, Boris. Don't you remember? and scared her. But she forgives him. Don't you, Betty. <laughs> Everything she does is so adorable. I bet I was that adorable when I was a baby. Listen, I was there when Bella was a baby, and she looked like a football with the air let out. <laughs> uh, did you say something, Boris? Just remarking about how lovely you were as a newborn cub, and how age has only accentuated your natural beauty. Well, can't argue with that. <laughs> what is it with girls and babies? Yeah, you've seen one bowling rug rat, you've seen them all. And this one sure does cry a lot. Maybe she needs her stuffing changed. <laughs> get it? Her stuffing changed? We get it. So where's Nettie? He had to stay in his room today. It's that time of year. Hay fever. He allergic. To pollen? No, to scarecrow. I'll have you know this ain't hay. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to hold your knees? I don't think I... I'd love to. Now support her head. Okay. She's awfully tiny. Hey, she's unscrewing my nose. Stop her. Gucci, Gucci, Goo. What does Gucci Goo mean exactly? It's derived from the native tongue of the Scoodlers. It means one who likes to be cooched. Gosh, Scarecrow, you know everything. You're right. I do. I didn't know that's what Coochie Co meant. That's because it doesn't. Bella will fall for anything. You know, I gotta admit, she is pretty cute. Ow! Uh, did I tell you? Uh, Betty is teething. No, as a matter of fact, you didn't tell us she was teething. <laughs> Boris. 
and I'm worn out. Looking after a child can be so exhausting. Fast asleep, both of them. Let's be very quiet so we don't wake them up. Hey, gang, where is the little Dickens? Did I come at a bad time? Yes! We're just kidding, Jack. Yeah, I'm sure Betty will stop crying any day now. Do you want to hold her, Jack? Nah, kids don't seem to take to me. She's got quite a grip on her. They're having laughs. Now it's my turn to have some laughs. Input number of players. Let's see. There's seven of them. Let's make it eight, just to be on the safe side. Warning. Possible overload if game is accessed by more than eight players. I've allowed for one additional play. What could happen? Now let me see. What am I forgetting? Let me see. What else am I forgetting? Of course, the crystals. Won't work without the magic crystals. Hey, you have a package for delivery? That I do. Where's it to go? Are you aware of the new arrival at Scrap's house? How could one not be? The lungs on that little one are really something. That's an awfully big package. Well, it's sort of a group gift. Something for everybody, as it were. Well, gotta get a move on. Any message to go with it? Oh, they'll get the message. Rightio! Yeah, they'll get the message, all right. <laughs> to scoot on over to Utensia to pick up an egg whisk. You look after Betty? Oh, yes. Don't stray from the yard. We won't. I'll be back in an hour. We'll be here. <laughs> Leaving the kitties to watch after the little one. Not a good idea. It's Tommy Quickstep. Hi, Hi Tommy. Tommy. Tommy, got a match? Yeah, you and a warthog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a ton of deliveries for little Betty. And there's more to come. Thanks, Tommy. Wow, which one should we open first? Aren't you forgetting first. something, Bella? These gifts are for Betty. I know that, genius, but she's going to need some help, isn't she? Her tiny little hands can't possibly untie all those ribbons and bows. Bella has a point. So, which should we open first? The one in the lovely polka dot paper? How about the oblong one with the crimson bow? Or the fuchsia colored circular jobby? What about the one that glows with the pulsating green light? Yeah! yeah. Pulsating, pulsating green, green light? Green light? <laughs> no! No! Baby, I have no idea. That's a first. You having no idea? Yeah, usually even when you have no idea, you make one up. I do not. Oh, yeah? Like coochie coo, meaning one who likes to be cooch? Do I look like I was born yesterday? No, but you act like it. All of us are finding your little tete a tete very amusing, but you both seem to be missing something. Oh, oh yeah? yeah? What? What? 
the fact that the mystery box is glowing again? Look, one of us has to do something. What's this? It's my instruction manual. That thing blows, it'll tell you how to put me back together. It feels okay, I'm gonna lift the top off. What is it? Is there a car? Is there a card? What a ridiculous question. Actually, there is a card. To my friends, have a nice trip. There must be some mistake. Yeah, a delivery mix-up. We aren't going anywhere. That's what you think. And why is friends in quotation marks? Is there anything else in the box? Just this. Those sparkling things look like crystals. What's the other thingamajig? It's a floppy disk. Frank! And here comes our eighth player. I'm glad I was thinking ahead. Hi, gang. What's going on? We're babysitting until Auntie Scraps returns from Utensia. Tommy Quickstep dropped off these baby gifts. One of the boxes was glowing with a sickly green color and shaking like it was going to explode or something, but Tin Boy opened it up and there was only these crystals and the what do you call it inside. Oh, and Betty cries a lot. Did I leave anything out? Only what you ate for breakfast. A full stack of blueberry pancakes with a side of bacon. So what do you think's on it, Frank? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Those crystals look familiar. Turn it off, Frank. You never know what might happen if that little gnome is involved. That's redundant. You bet it is. Do you know what redundant means, Boris? Of course. It means I'm exactly correct. Isn't that right, Scarecrow? Yes and no. See? Huh? Your comment was undoubtedly correct, Boris, but your phrasing was off. You said, that little gnome. Now, little and gnome are redundant because gnomes by their very nature are little, so to use the two words in sequence isn't grammatically correct. Are you following all of this? It's painfully obvious. Now that grammar school is done for the day, what do we do about this computer program? It says it's a game. Let's play it. Yes, play it. I don't know if we should. I don't know if we should. What harm could there be in giving it a try? Perhaps Otto is trying to make up for his past transgressions. Maybe he's turned over a new leaf. And maybe not. I say let's go for it. Come on, gang, you only live once. Yeah, yeah let's, let's do, do it. it. Let's, let's play. play. Yes, let's play. The instructions are coming up. This isn't going to be difficult, is it? I don't like difficult games. Seems pretty simple. The object of Otto's Around the World game is to travel around the world. Whomever gets home, gets home. That's a little vague. Maybe it's a typo. Maybe it's supposed to say, whomever gets to home first, wins. Yeah, what's the worst that could happen? We don't like the game, we stop playing. So what are we waiting for? What's the first step? Type in the names of the players. Dot, Boris, Bella, Jack, Scarecrow, Andrea, Tin Boy, myself, Frank. Am I forgetting anyone? I don't think this is your game, Toto. Yes, and Betty's too little. So just the eight of us. After you have typed in the names, press enter. Yes, press enter, press enter. Maybe we should wait and start the game after lunch. Is food all you think about? Is food all you think about? I'm a hungry lion. 
No, don't tell me. I'm being repugnant again. Redundant. He was right the first time. Look, are we going to play or aren't we? I suppose I can sacrifice my hunger for the sake of group fun. Let's play. Yeah, let's play before I'm a gnome with gray hair. Here goes, start of game. Nothing's happening. I want something to happen. Oh, it will. Oh. Uh -oh. Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. After all, <laughs> and baby makes nine. Nine. <laughs> Absolutely positive. I'm almost 100% certain. I haven't a doubt in my mind that they're completely safe. At least I hope so. Inside the computer. Don't be ridiculous, Frank. We're inside the computer. How do we get back outside the computer? We're on a game board. Then I imagine if we are to get out of here, we have to play the game. But we decided that he was too young for this game. I wish I had been too young for this game. I just want to go on record as saying that I wanted to have lunch in a nice warm kitchen, not be trapped inside a rather chilly computer. Look, gang, maybe we should just play the game. It might be fun. It doesn't look like we have much choice. But we don't know what the rules are. The rules of the game are simple. There are no rules. That's what makes the game fun and unpredictable. Just like me. Yeah, I think of fun. I think of auto. There are no rules, but there are procedures. Each of the eight players must roll the dice to begin to play. What dice? Those dice. After rolling the dice, each of the eight players must advance that many spaces on the board. And at that space, perform a challenge. See? I told you, this is gonna be fun. The first of the eight players to reach the center of the board wins. You know, I hate to hand it to Otto, but this looks like it could be sort of fun. You know it does. Yeah, I'm ready. Which of the eight of us wants to go first? Well, actually, Jack, there are nine of us, including Bay. I'm sure it doesn't make any difference how many of us there are. Warning, there's an overload in the system. What does that mean? I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. I'm sure the system is programmed to accommodate any eventuality. System overload, internal breakdown, major malfunction. That isn't good, is it? In a word, no! What does this overload mean for us? It means, it means, it, it means, it means... Not with it already. 
It means you're on your own. Wow, a digital shower. Okay, Scarecrow, you're always telling us how smart you are. So think of some way to get us out of this mess. I think Frank and I need to put our heads together. How's Betty doing? Wide awake. She wants to play. Let her play with these. I'll set her down on this pile of digital auto. We've been talking and... You thought of a quick way out of this? Not exactly. Well, exactly what have you decided? To play, play the, the game. game. You want to play a game at a time like this? I don't think we have any other choice. Obviously, something's gone wrong. Obviously. We can only hope Otto realizes this and is doing something to get us out of here. Look, the idea was that they were only supposed to believe they were lost. That was the whole idea of the prank. But now... Hmm. Don't tell me the file doesn't exist. I wrote the file. No access. I'll show you no access. You're right, boy. There has to be another way. There just has to be. But what is that other way? So, who's got the dice? I gave them to Betty so that she would have something to play with. So adorable. She has no idea of the trouble we're in. I wish I had no idea of the trouble we're in. Look, Betty's rolling the dice. Rolling, rolling the, the dice? dice? Betty, no! Where did she go? You finally lost your tiny little mind. Well, that's what the square says. It is London. That's Big Ben. And look at the clock hand. It's Betty. That won't do any good. It's just a holographic representation. Betty's not really there. Well, where is she? London. It's not my fault, Toto. It's the computers. But not to worry. I'm sure everybody is safe and sound. Somewhere. Just let me think. I'll try a search program and pinpoint their location. I just have to reboot. Now first I'll type in Betty's name and see where she is. I knew it would work. Look, Toto, there's an image coming up on the screen. We can have a look and see where Betty and hopefully all the others are. London? Oh, well, the gang can thank me later for their surprise vacation. Let's have a closer look. And Toto? I assure you, we will see that everybody is completely safe, secure, and... And about to fall off Big Ben! Think of something. Think! I am thinking. Think faster. Today, of all days, I had to leave my wand home. Look, we know where Betty is, London. So it seems to me that if we want her back, we have to go there. It pains me to say this, Scarecrow, but I think Boris is right. Of course I'm right, so let's go. Come on, take me to London already. 
I don't think that's going to work. What will? We have to roll the dice for it. What? what? This is a game, right? Not a particularly amusing one, but yes, it's a game. So we have to play by the rules. But there aren't any rules, remember? Well, procedures, then. We have to roll the dice and roll a two, just like Betty did. Right. Come on. Baby needs a new pair of shoes. Whatever that means. I'm having terrible luck. Blow on them. Why? Dice like it. <sighs> we'll roll together. Right. Yes! Okay, move two squares, and you better do it together. Right. I wonder how long we have to get Betty back. One, One minute. minute! Let's move it. Fifty-five seconds! Fifty-five seconds to find Betty. And then what? Move it, Boris! coming with me. This isn't exactly a limb. Whatever. How do we get ourselves into this? It seemed like just a few minutes ago we were babysitting for Auntie Scraps. It was just a few minutes ago, Boris. Don't you remember? And there's the baby with which we're supposed to be sitting. I don't think this is what Auntie Scraps had in mind when she told us not to leave the yard. This isn't what any of us had in mind. How much more time do we have? Ten seconds. Ten, nine, eight. Don't worry, Betty. Boris is here. I thought you said don't worry. Five, four, three, two, one. Ah! Grab my legs. Zero. Rally. I'll think of something. Transfer. That should work. Ah! How's Betty doing? She's sleeping. She can sleep at a time like this? I wish I could sleep at a time like this. By the way, where are we? Ah! I've always wanted to see Paris. Uh, this wasn't exactly the way I imagined coming here, but... Look! Over there! Where? The square at the far corner. Paris! That must be where they went. There they are, on the elevator. Oh no! Boris hates heights! Isn't Paris beautiful? Beautiful. We need to roll a nine. Look, is this such a good idea? Every time we roll, somebody gets lost. What do you think, Frank? I think... I think... I don't know what to think. Maybe I can help. Who's that? Otto. Otto? Otto, is that you? Really you? Or just your disembodied hologram. It's really me. I don't suppose it would do any good to offer my sincere apologies for the predicament in which you now find yourself. No, no it wouldn't. wouldn't. I was really only playing a prank. <laughs> Nothing like this was supposed to happen. Well, something like this, exactly like this, did happen. And it's all your fault. 
A and I'm sorry. Sorry isn't good enough. I'm doing my best to get you out of there. <coughs> Are Bella, Boris, and Betty with you? No, they're in Paris. I hit the transfer key. I was hoping that it would send them back to you. Well, it didn't. How do we get them back? The computer seems to be making up its own rules. It's reading Betty as a sort of pawn in the game. She wasn't supposed to be there, you see. Technically, none of us are supposed to be here. Right. Well, it's very important that you retrieve Betty and keep her close to you. So we have to go to Paris? Yes, and face the next challenge. What is the next challenge? We're almost at the top, Boris. I'd rather you said, we're almost at the bottom, Boris. for this one. 20 seconds. Is that all? This must be the next challenge. And it's a doozy. How much time for this one? 20, 20 seconds. seconds? Is that all? Is that all? 19. 18. 18. I'm going to roll the dice. I'll roll with you. Ten, no good. Roll again. Sixteen. Ten again. Fifteen seconds. What happens if they don't meet the challenge in time? they'll be stuck in a void. Forever. 13 seconds. 12 seconds. Here she comes. Now. How's your leg? 
It'll be all right as soon as I get it banged out. Who wants to do the honors? Here, and don't let her out of your sight. Where could they be now? Rome? India? Egypt. At least they're safe. Yeah, what can happen to them on the top of a pyramid? I've read a lot about them. Inside, they're full of secret passages and mysteries. But they're on top of it, outside, not inside. Not yet, at least. There. Good as new. You do good work. You'd better let me hold Betty. Wouldn't want anything else to happen to her. Whatever you say. I think she wants to do it again. Well, I don't. I want to get out of here. It's spooky. Let's look for a possible avenue of escape. Do you think this is the next challenge? I don't see that pesky timer or anything. This must be sort of a pre-game warm-up. Regardless, we have to get out of here. Maybe we could climb back up. It's awfully dark up there, and we came down a very long way. What's the matter, Betty? Do you see something funny? Close. Thanks. I think. Now what do we do? I've read about these pyramid chambers. The Egyptians built all sorts of secret passageways and shafts so that the riches buried with the dead pharaohs wouldn't be plundered by thieves. Is there a point to this history lesson? Supposedly, they constructed a series of secret passageways in and out of the pyramids. Well, let's concentrate on finding those out ones. We're already in. Over, Over our, our heads! heads. Said mommy. Here, Betty, help me with this. Have you found anything useful, sis? We're trapped in a centuries old pit, shrouded by mum. Mum, mum. Surrounded by people wrapped in old sheets, and you're trying on jewelry? What can I say? I'm a slave to fashion. Well, get over it. You're right, you're right. I don't have the proper accessories to wear with this stuff anyway. Look, I have a feeling the way out of here is just under our noses. If we keep looking, I'm certain we'll find it. You have found it! Look! We're going up! And up is exactly where we want to go. Up, 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 up! Yes! 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 Why aren't we moving? Whew. For a moment there, I was worried. Wow, those ancient Egyptians were way ahead of their time. Yeah, they thought of everything. Without a brain as advanced as mine, nobody could get out of here. I was going to assign the credit a bit differently. Oh, yeah? To what? Dumb luck. <laughs> Well, whatever. We're on our way up and out of here. Yeah, up and... Make that, that down. down! If I'm not mistaken...
mistaken. This must be the next, the next challenge. challenge. Where's Betty? There she is. She's okay. I'll go get her. What's that? need some help. <laughs> What's the next challenge? How much time do we have? 30 seconds for this challenge. We'll each take one of these entrances. When you find Betty, scream. Right! I might scream before I find her. I know. I see it. They're in a maze. I'm good with mazes. So am I. Join me. Let's roll. Egypt is three spaces away from Paris. And our friends are 24 seconds away from whatever. I don't suppose we could subtract one from the other, as opposed to adding. I don't think so. Roll, Roll again. again. Twenty-one. Twenty. Nineteen. Nineteen. Come on, four. Four. I'm getting close to the center. I can feel it. I'm almost there, Betty. Back where I started. 18. Oh! Scarecrow Frank, am I glad to see you. Betty's in the center of the maze, and we have 15 seconds to find her. Then let's go maze her. They don't have much time left. We, we know. know. 10 seconds. And they're nowhere near Betty. Bella's there. Frank is there. Scarecrow is way over there. Jack and Tin Boy are together, and Boris has been running back and forth in the same section the entire time. Eight seconds! No, not that way. That way. It's so simple. From entrance number one, it's three lefts and a right. We know the way through the maze. We have to get there and get Betty. Luck be a lady tonight. Only five more seconds. Four! Three! Two! Hi, Andrea. Hi, Dot. Andrea, Dot? One second. Right on time. Well, usually about this time we... Ah! Disappear! Find ourselves in the spin cycle. I don't believe it. They did it, Toto. They beat the clock. Now what do I do? Uh, can you hear me? Yes. I was just about to transfer you. No, don't do that. We'll just end up in another country. With another challenge. But what else can I do? I can't leave you there. I'll say I'm getting dizzy. Otto. Look at your command keys. I am. This may be crazy, but is there a home key? Yes. Home? I like the sound of that. Aren't you being a bit literal, Frank? Do you have any better ideas? Otto, press the home key. Whatever you say. At last. Sure is good to be home. I'll say. Ready for lunch? I am. For once, little brother, I'm with you 100%. Gang, you better take a look at this. We're back inside the computer. We never left it. We're on the Emerald City Game Square, and that is just a hologram. 
You mean we're trapped? Again? Still. <laughs> Press the home key. Great idea, Frank. Coulda worked. Coulda isn't didda. Let's look on the bright side. Is there a bright side? We are all back together. Yeah, I'm back together, back where we started. Are you still there? Yeah, yes, we're, we're still, still here. here, thanks to you. I only did what you asked. Press the home key, Frank said. Well, it didn't work, oh. did it? Technically, that one element in all of this wasn't my fault. If we're gonna get really technical, all the elements in all of this were your fault. <laughs> Looks like Frank has his thinking cap on. Dot must be seeing things. Frank isn't wearing a cap. No, Boris. What she means is... Oh, never mind. I think I might have figured a way out of this. But we'll need your help, Otto. I'll do whatever I can. Just name it. What's the plan? Well, the way I see it, there's really only one thing to do, and that's... What's happening? What's happening? Look! Oh, this is not good. What's going on, Frank? The computer program is breaking up and taking the game board with it. Then there won't be any more game left to play. And that might be good, right? Except for one thing. If the game board goes, there probably won't be any of us left either. That's not so good. Frank, quick, you said you had a plan. What is it? Otto, can you hear me? You're breaking up. No kidding. Now listen, Otto, did you make a backup of this program? Of course, I always make a backup. But I don't have it with me. Well, go get it. Toto, stand watch. Don't let anyone near the computer. There goes London. An agent. And Rome. Hey, we never got to Rome. Are you complaining? Not exactly. But right now, Rome is starting to look pretty good. better. Remember you said that, Rod. She has excellent hearing. <gasps> Dot, look! Move! <laughs> My square is about to go too.
same boat now. Otto? Otto, where are you? Right here, Pop. Come out to my workroom. I have something very interesting to show you. Can it wait till later? I'm sort of on a deadline here. Wait till later. Wait till later. I've spent a lifetime perfecting my plans for conquering the Kingdom of Oz, and you want to wait till later. If it's convenient. A convenient? Oh, convenient, of course. I'm only the king around here. And if your father and his plans mean nothing to you, oh, well, I suppose I can push my bruised feelings aside and wait for little Prince Otto to deign to grant me a moment of his oh-so-precious time. All right, Pop, show me what you want to show me. Oh, no, I don't want to take you away from whatever it is you're doing. What are you doing, by the way? Just some tinkering with the computer. Oh, I see. Your tinkering with that computer is more important to you than your father. That's not it at all. Look, I want to see what you're working on. You know I'm always interested in your little projects. Show me. Well, only if you're really keen to see it. I'm really keen. Really. Then follow me. Will this take long? <laughs> Now admit it, you've never seen anything like this. I admit it. What exactly is it? What is it? What is it? It's an underground tunneling device. With just a flick of the switch, I can tunnel anywhere in ours in a matter of moments. No longer do I have to wait for my subjects to dig till they drop. With this, I can conquer Oz in a day or less. Would you like to see how it works? Uh, sure. Well, here goes. It's working. Stand clear, my boy. Let me show you what this baby can do full throttle. Now, this drill is razor sharp and can cut through stone as if it were butter. You. Oh, right here, my boy. Right where? Down here. Do you need some help? I'm pinned under the wreckage of broken dreams. Why would I need help? You all right, Dad? Nothing bruised but my pride. Ooh. And my right knee. Oh, well, back to the proverbial drawing board. Do you want any help? Oh, no. You go back to what you were doing. And what was it that you were doing? Otto, your father has pulled out of his slump. I've picked myself up, dusted myself off, and I'm gonna start all over again. That's great, Pop. Catch you later. Open up! Hurry up and open up! Open up this instance or I'll make you spend the afternoon with my father. I'm coming, gang! I'm coming! What is keeping that pesky little gnome? Aren't you being redundant, Scarecrow? What of it? I'm just injecting some levity into the proceedings. You don't have to bite my head off, you know. Sorry, Boris. That's okay. And you can be redundant all you want, Scarecrow. It's fine with me. How's Betty doing? I think she misses her mom. I miss her mom, too. I miss everybody. Well, everybody that isn't here, that is. It's almost lunchtime in Emerald City. Don't mention food. It'll upset Boris. You'd care if I was upset? Not really. It's all you're whining about the lack of food that I care about. Otto, where are you? <gasps> it's Toto! Hi, boy. Don't whine, Toto. We're all right. For now. Toto, is Otto back yet? Otto! 
program, but first, don't forget to save. save! You're saved! Now what? Now access the new program and we'll hope for the best. You still there? We're still here, but nothing's changed. No, wait! Something's happening! It's working! It's working! It's not working! It's not working! I don't know what else to do! It must be some sort of virus. A virus? You mean the computer is sick? Sort of. Viruses move through computer programs, wiping out everything in their way. That isn't very nice. Is a computer virus a big red ball with square eyes and a big ugly mouth? What do you ask? Because something answering to that description is coming our way. Otto, do something! Yeah, there's a virus going around. Would an aspirin help? Not that kind of virus, a computer virus. How do we escape from it? Why didn't I think of this before? Hang on, I'm gonna give something a try. Hang on, he says, as if we have a choice. Whatever you're gonna do, do it pronto. This has to work. I'm gonna hit the escape key. Do it! Look. Emerald City! The Yellow Brick Road! Come on! Ah! Everybody inside! holographic representation. And it looks just like the one back home, too. Everything looks just like home. Except it's cleaner. I don't suppose there'd be any edible holographic wieners around here anywhere. I doubt it. But wait a minute. You mean there might be edible holographic wieners? Otto, you still out there? Otto! Yes! Yes, I'm still here! I was getting worried when I didn't hear from you. Did the escape key help? In a way. Yeah, we seem to have avoided becoming computer virus fodder. For the time being, at least. But we're still trapped. We're in the Emerald City holograph. And I have a question, Otto. Ask away. How did you come up with such a perfect copy of Emerald City? That's a secret. Listen, pal. The time for secrets is over. I guess you have a point. Well, it, it's like this. There are some old plans of Emerald City that my father had in a drawer. And what else? Well, some, well, surveillance photos that one of my father's minions took. Surveillance photos? You don't think the Gnome King is plotting a takeover of Emerald City again, do you? Nah, it's just the pathetic ramblings of a crusty old coot. Watch how you talk about my father. Sorry, Otto, but listen, when you were creating this program, did you include personal effects in any of our rooms? Sure. I pride myself on details. I put a bundle of straw in Scarecrow's room, an oil bath in Tin Boy's quarters, Toto's baskets in Dot's room, right where it belongs, and... What about my room? Authentic furnishings down to the last paperclip. Furnishings like, say, my computer? It's on your credenza. I see what you're getting at. I don't see what you're getting at. What are you getting at, Frank? If my computer is in my room, I may be able to interface with the primary system, achieve a universal override of the program, and jettison us back through cyberspace. Oh, I thought maybe you had an idea of how to get out of here. He does, Boris. You mean you understand what he said? Not a word of it. But what's important is that Frank understands it. Let's get that computer of yours. Right. <laughs> Ah! 
Look, this virus is tough to shake. Chew on this, buddy. Keep going, I have some diversions in mind. Right. Here comes Tin Boy. And here comes the virus. We have to get a move on, Frank. you or anything, but... Hurry! I'm typing as fast as I can. Otto, you with me? Just tell me what to do. The kids? <gasps> kids, where are you? Oh, it's Andy Scraps! Otto, don't mess up. I won't. Just give me the instructions fast. Type in MCD backslash 8 return. Done! Access your hard drive and stand by. Okay. That is one insatiable virus. The virus is almost here. Just one more command, Dan. seen you all day. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you? Well, I'll be sure to tell your parents what responsible babysitters you were. Oh, yes. We minded every word you said. Never left the yard. Yep, unless you count London, Paris, and Egypt. <laughs> My brother. What a jokester. <gasps> Well, what do you say I try out my new whisk and cook up some omelets? I wouldn't take a pass. Be sure to invite your friend, too. Our, Our friend. friend. Hi. You are no friend of ours. Yeah, we could have been trapped in a digital void for all eternity. And all because of you. I said I was sorry. It was just a prank. I felt left out. You guys always seem to have so much fun. He's trying to guilt us into accepting him. Well, it won't work. Will it? <sighs> Thanks, but I don't really like eggs. So admit it, that was some adventure I provided for you. Look, Otto, we've been talking and, well, you really didn't mean us harm. Even though you almost got us lost in computer limbo. So, we got together and thought of an appropriate gift for you. A gift? For me? You wouldn't be kidding, would you? We don't kid, kiddo. So here it is. Is it a game? 
A very special one. Taylor, just for you. Oh, boy. I'll go right home and play it. You do that. <laughs> yeah, you do just that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. A gift. A gift. My very own game. What is all this commotion? I'm trying to think of new schemes here, and you know that requires total silence. Sorry, Pop. I'll be very quiet. My very own game! I'm ready to play! <gasps> oh no! It's wiping out all my memory! It's deleting everything! Stop! Stop! What in the name of gnomes is the matter? Oh, it's nothing. I'm just pinned into the wreckage of my broken dreams, so to speak. Well, I know how you feel. You know, one of these days you're going to have to show me how this thing works. I bet if we put our heads together, we could create a program for all sorts of devious enterprises. Yeah, maybe we could at that. So why don't we start now? Do you have a password, son? Uh -huh. Mischief. My, you are your father's son, aren't you? That I am, Pop. That I am. Maybe we went too far with Otto. Yeah. <laughs> Sure is good to be home. This is really home, isn't it? Don't be silly, of course it is. Ah, the land of Oz. Except no substitutes. 